Good morning, everyone. That's good. Now I'm a bookmark. Say my mark. Thank you, Denise. Mark up, wonderful speech. This place, Kolkola, is a special and sacred place to my people. It's a place where we can make, make partnerships and engage in a serious business. We can ro uh, send rockets to space. We can write laws of the land. And we can make plans for the future. Because we are here under the guidance, not of, not of my brother and my family, but of all the Aboriginal people who are part of us. Kuri, Murray, Kabiri, Nunga, Palawa, Wemo, Anango, Yolongo. We are all in this together. As I have said many times, all of my countrymen are linked together by our song lines. These song lines join us all and through so much has been taken, so much power remains in all of us. We can feel what has been taken from our countrymen. We can feel your pain and we stand together with you to find that pathway to unity in this southern land under our southern cross. Because our Gorta the sacred fire burns, not just for us, but for everyone. The guac, the night bird, the Mangalili ancestor that journeys with our souls to the stars is not for us alone. The Guag speaks for all of us about the cycle of life and how we are just a small part of something bigger than ourselves. And if you stay with us long enough, you will come to know these things. For these ancestors are at the heart of what Australia really means and truly is. A nation built on ancient foundations with its own laws and its own life. You might think of our ancestors, the Wimu, the ancient seafarers that join us from Papua New Guinea and the Torres Strait Islands and are also a part of us and a part of you. You might think of the Mangatara or the Macassans, a brothers from Sulawesi whose blood runs through us and who forever will live and breathe in our languages and our ceremonies. And Garitambal, the red kangaroo, whose house we are in, <coughs> gave a special staff, a 
a staff that was made out of iron wood to our ancestors. Who gave it to us? And we carried that with us today. These are special things that belong to this country. And if treated properly, it will belong to all of us. My spirit is of the sacred crocodile, the barrel. And I am a Maralicha man. And I am also one poisonous tree that is so toxic. This is my identity and my strength. It's everything to me. And it links it to my land and my future. We were born Yolngo. And we will die Yolngo. But we live in two worlds. And walk in two worlds. And the other world is not always kind to my people or my identity. Not as kind as it should be. We know the past, but it must be remembered. And then in recent times, there have been many promises made to my people. And it has hurt us a lot to hear these promises made to our faces only to see the promises betrayed. We have first-hand knowledge of these events. We were all with my brother Galarwe when he handed to the Prime Minister Bob Hawke our sacred laws in 1987 and was promised a treaty. We watched those words. Those words were wiped away. As the song says, a writing in the sand. And we were with Galaroy when we presented a petition to Prime Minister Kevin Rudd in 2008 with the Dillard leaders asking for meaningful constitutional recognition. And for four days, we hosted Tony Abbott in 2014 wondering if we could see our flags waving for true recognition for our people. Then again, in 2017, we represented Galarui at Uluru and sought a rightful place and a voice in the Constitution. Like I said yesterday, we took the fire to the rock. And then we hosted a prime minister right here at Golkula, only to be disappointed again. Big talk, no action, no delivery. And we are with Galatoa today and a Prime Minister, and a Chief Minister, and an Ambassador, and of course, with the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. North, north, south, east, west. Now here in two, 2022, we are hearing words from a Prime Minister that are responding to us fully 
and understanding the seriousness of the business. And I'll be honest, these words are lifting our spirits. We are hearing from a prime minister that tells us that he will take the serious business of our nation forward. Look up to the future. These are the words from our fathers. And they are meaningful words that guide our actions. As young people, we will always look up and keep on believing in ourselves and our future in this Australia. As we say to each other, our ancestors might have started the fire, but the fire is now held by us. For our children, our families, and for the future. Thank you.